Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on the replay mod and it's going to be how to use replay mod with shaders. Now I got a few comments on my uh, destruction montage video which used shaders on people asking how to do it and a quick comment from on my uh, one of my other videos asking how you use shaders with the replay mod. Now what I'm going to show you is uh, it's not officially supported. The replay mod doesn't support any other mods because of the way it renders. And before you think that you're going to be able to render out shaders, so have 4K 120 FPS shaders, unfortunately you can't because again it's not a supported mod. So what you will need for this is a piece of screen recording software. I'm using Action. Uh, you will need these specific mods. I will have download links for all three of these in the description and in a uh, assuming I can do it in a card link. If not, they'll be in the description. So we want Optifine 1.8 HD Ultra D1. That is the Optifine that is compatible with shaders, and it's the one that works the best. Now, uh, we want Replay Mod. The latest version, I think, will work fine, but I'm going with 1.0.5 because I know that works. And Shaders Mod version 2.4.11 MC1.8.jar. The Forge version I am using is 11.14.3.1450. I will have links to all of these in the description. You can you can probably use any Forge version, but I'm using the ones that I know work. So uh, just to make sure that it works for you guys. Now, what I recommend you record your replays with no mods at all because sometimes Optifine can corrupt the replay file and make it so that your player does not appear, um, but it is apparently there. But um, after you've done that, you want to close replay mod. Put those mods into your mods folder, make sure everything else is disabled. And I'm going to use something I just recorded earlier. Uh, oh, really? Did it break? No, it didn't. Right, 452. Uh, I recorded this earlier. As you can see, I'm playing in windowed mode because it allows me to show my mods folder as well. Uh, so it means we might get a bit of lag. But, you know, let's jump forward to around 50 seconds. You might get a little bit of lag, but oh well, that's just replay mod. And as you can see... My process is not the best, so it's sometimes really slow to sort of jump into games. How how near were we at this, this moment? Let me jump to me. 5 out of 10. No, let's just play it fast because it's fun to watch. As you can see, there's one of, the, one of the many bugs with using the mods like this. That's... It's unfortunate. Uh, another bug you will notice, you will not be able to spectate players if you're using shaders. Uh, simply because the... Um, I think I broke it. I broke it. Uh, you won't be able to spectate people because a sort of a blue film comes up when you use shaders. If you, I'll show you now. If I say options. As you can see, all the buttons are white because they're broken. Let's use shaders light because we get a lot. I get a lot of lag recording in windowed mode. Yeah, as you can see, the frame rate's not the best. This windowed mode isn't great. Right, 12 seconds. That's cool. What frame rate? What frame rate am I getting? 30, 30 is okay, but Windowed Mode sucks. Anyway, I just recorded this on TDM. As you can see, you get these little things. They're a bit annoying, I guess. But they just appear because of shaders. If I, if you see, if I pause this and jump out of Spectator, you can see everyone. So what you can see is that there's a flying sort of blob, because it's a bit bug, buggy. Also using the zoom key toggles, lighting. But anyway, what's, what you're going to do is you're going to animate yourself a little path. So I'm going to say, let's start here and zoom it forward a bit. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to do it so that when all the players exit here, they'll come out. Let's do this. Uh, let's jump down to here. And then let's do time keyframe back here. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to check that camera path. It's OK. So let's do that now. Uh, it looks perfectly fine as a camera path. It's nothing fancy. But what you're now going to want to do is get your screen into an appropriate resolution. Uh, you can't really see it, but I'm pretty sure you can just about see it. This this screen is 128 by 720 because that's how I launched it using the uh, these things here. If you edit profile and you've got resolution. 
You can do 1080p, but I can't switch it to full screen, otherwise window of mode will stop recording it. So all you're going to want to do, get your screen recorder recording, uh, and press T, play on the camera path, and hit F1 as soon as it starts. So, give it a sec, just thinking about it. And there we are. So once, while you record that, once you've done that, uh, get to the end of the camera path. Unfortunately, you can't hide name tags because we're doing it with shaders, but that's the compromise you're going to have to make. And that's going to be about it. Once you've done that, you're just going to want to take your standard screen recorder file and yeah, import it into After Effects, just like you would with a standard Minecraft gameplay. Unfortunately, if you can't get a solid 30 frames, at least, or 60, uh, recording with shaders alone, you won't be able to do it with Replay Mod, because Replay Mod does lag shaders quite a bit. It also screws with the world rendering sometimes. Uh, at the minute, I'm I'm alright, considering I'm in window mode. But, uh, it's buggy. It's not fully compatible. If you, you can manage to do it, and you do want to do it, feel free. But, it's up to you, really. If your computer can handle it, I would. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please click that subscribe button and share the video. It would mean the world to me. No end screen this time because I still haven't finished it. But I'd like to thank everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.